This is a robot that walks, flies, skateboards, and slacklines. But why? A portion of this video was sponsored by Bluehost. More about them at the end of the show. There are lots of bipedal robots out there, and drones are ubiquitous. But until now, no one had engineered walking and flying technology to work together in a single robot. So it's the first robot that truly integrates the walking and the flying. It's, it's not just a drone with legs. It's a Leonardo, and it stands for Legs on Board Drone. So I think it's a pretty good name. Why is this potentially useful? Yeah, so any uh, flying vehicles actually have to start from the ground to take off. And eventually, they cannot stay in the air forever. They have to eventually come down. But sometimes they have to come down on the very challenging terrain or some obstacles. So it's actually a good idea to have uh, these controllable legs so they can actually land in a very uh, interesting configuration or posture or orientation. But there are additional benefits. A robot like this is more stable than a regular drone. I view these propellers almost like our, our arms. So some people might say that, oh, you guys are cheating because, I mean, bipedal robots do not have a propellers, but we are essentially using the propellers to do additional stabilization. So basically, you generate a lift or thrust of force to cancel the somewhat the uh, weight of the uh, robot, but that's really a secondary effect. The most important thing is basically posture or orientation stabilization. <laughs> that is so cool yeah. to see. Maybe. So the main facility for this lab is this one. It's a gigantic fan array. I can see all the fans now. Yeah, we have, uh, you can't start counting, but 1,296 computer fans. It's, those are really literally computer fans. How fast can it generate wind? So up to uh, 15 meters per second or 20 meters per second. It's like a wind tunnel without the need for a tunnel. Yes. It might but mess with our audio or with our microphones. Whoa. The idea of this smoke machine is to actually visualize the flow, but also with all these additional sensors like infrared cameras or radar and LIDAR, how we can actually figure out the kind of location or environment around your vehicle in the presence of this fog. And I wanted to feel their power for myself. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. That was so cool. I love it. They used this facility to test Leonardo to see how stable he is, even in different wind conditions. And we showed that Leo is more robust than a drone because a drone gets blown away by the wind but then Leo does not because of its ground contact. So for example, if you go hiking and there's like suddenly a lot of wind, you're not gonna fall because you have the ground contact. But for a drone, it might be blown away. So we actually took uh, one of the whiteboards that we have at home and we put oil. So we applied perturbations to Leo and what's happening is as you push Leo, instead of falling, it stays upright but it also slides on the whiteboard. So that's an interesting capability. So it's very robust. You said perturbations. Are you poking the robot? Yes, without harming the robot. We are gentle. Leonardo is so stable and good at adjusting its balance that it can skateboard. That's a, that's a fancy trick. Not many people can go backwards on a skateboard. How did you get the idea for a robot that will skateboard? Should I say the truth or make a nice story? Uh, tell us the truth. Yeah, so uh, we went hiking and we saw about 10 people going down the mountain on a skateboard. And then we thought, wow, this is really cool. What if we try our robots to make it do this? 
So we went to the first shop and we bought a skateboard. We modified it and we tried it and it worked. So do you think it allows the robot to save energy by riding on a skateboard? It's more efficient because it uses the legs less. The legs are basically used to steer and then it's just the propellers that are used to accelerate the skateboard forward and backwards. So yeah, it, it makes it save a bit more energy. The propellers, of course, make it possible to skateboard backwards, something I struggled with. I definitely would, would help if I had a propeller. But the real challenge was slacklining. <laughs> this looks incredibly unstable. So I think this proves the point of just like how important control systems are. You can tell from the footage, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, I thought I would be slightly better at that. Let's give it another shot. <sighs> okay. <laughs> can anyone slack line? <sighs> <laughs> oh, this is impossible. I need a robot to do this for me. I like the sidestepping technique. Maybe I should have been doing that. I'm trying to like copy his technique. I tried to get some tips by watching Leonardo. But improvement was negligible. I should have prepared. You might think it's cheating to use propellers, but the robot is clearly not flying. It is supporting itself mostly using the rope, and it's able to stabilize itself even with a wild bouncing. So human professionals like Liner, if you see some of their videos, actually they use the uh, arm stretched, and then they can balance themselves. Uh, we don't have the arms for Leo yet. Uh, we are planning to add the manipulation uh, so that it can actually carry some object. But in the meantime, we are using the propellers to stabilize the Leo while it's actually walking on a slack line. It's funny because like the robot feels like it's got kind of a personality to it, yeah. the way it walks and flies. Yeah, right. It's just totally something you're not used to seeing. Yeah, it looks natural. Actually, I have to say that the sensors are sampled at 1,000 times per second. But the controller is actually being uh, recomputed. Uh, whatever signal you're sending to propellers and the leg joints, 200 times per second. So it's a pretty fast like a computation. 200 times a second, it is adjusting what it's doing yes. to maintain balance. Yes, like especially propeller uh, control signal. How does that compare to humans? Oh, uh, humans. <laughs> so humans can do very sophisticated tasks, but in terms of uh, like a fast reaction, it's very crude machine. So uh, humans in uh, overall has a few seconds of delay, time delay. Is this why I was struggling on the slack line? Well, maybe, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about the performance here today? Yeah, I think it beat you. <laughs> I mean, not that that's hard, but this is very impressive. If you imagine a robot like Leonardo in the future, like the greatest Leonardo you could make, what would that robot look like and do? So definitely having a Leo-like robot in space, that would be amazing. But of course, depending on where you go, you might not be able to use propellers. So then you would need to use thrusters. So eventually, yes, we want to develop this leg-based adaptive landing gear, and then we give that to next generation Mars helicopter or next generation flying cars so that it can actually land in very challenging conditions and still move around once it's yeah, And the then once, yeah, once you land, then you can walk over it. Imagine if you have a cliff and then you have the robot just jump out of the cliff, deploy the propellers and fly. That'd be wild. Oh, hey there. This portion of the video was sponsored by Bluehost. You know, tech is now so advanced that robots can skateboard. So why is it still so hard to build a website? 
make the process simple with Bluehost. It's easier than ever to get started. Bluehost provides you with a completely free domain for the first year, as well as quick start templates, so you can have a beautiful website up and running in just minutes. The templates are mobile ready, so your website is optimized for both phones and computers from the start. Unlike the process of building a robot like Leo, you don't need code in order to make your website. Bluehost lets you customize everything with simple drag and drop editing. And Bluehost Builder also allows people to choose their own editing journey. It's built on WordPress, so at any time you can toggle between WordPress core, the traditional editing experience, and the Bluehost Builder with no loss of functionality. This is a first of its kind builder experience. So start building your website today with Bluehost. Just go to bluehost.com slash track slash veritasium to receive more than 65% off. I will put that link down in the description. So I wanna thank Bluehost again for sponsoring this portion of the video, and I wanna thank you for watching.